Hi all, Martin at Flicking Feathers again today and I'm doing a wee quick tie tip on how to add rattles to your flies right? and this is something that you can do regardless of the species you fish for if you're tying streamers for trout, you're tying bigger flies for pike and musky, bass, perch uh, any, any fish that you're going to target with a fly, anything that eats eats another another fish, a bait fish, it's worth tying, trying this and adding rattles. Um, now it's really easy, all you need is your hook obviously, some shrink tube, sized appropriately, and your rattles. I'll take one of these out. So there's different types of rattles available, we've got bass worm rattles right we use pointy these are plastic or sometimes they come in glass as well um nice and small they'll suit obviously the smaller fly this is this rattle is only two millimeters in diameter and i'm going to use it on a size 4 gamma katsu b10s i've got this a jig rattle, right? You'll see videos and people online calling these Bower pipe rattles, but they existed long before Nicholas Bower started fishing. Um, these are jig rattles, and save yourself a bit of money. Buy them from the bass shop, right? Don't don't go to a fly shop and buy the Bower pipe rattles because they're three times the price, and it's exactly the same thing made in China. Um, probably, probably made in China. Um, the other option is the, the, the Pyrex or glass rattle. These are good, they give you a good noise, um, but they can break, so you need to be aware of that. Um, certainly if I'm going to be fishing near structure, particularly rocks or concrete pilings, I'm going to use plastic just in case I hit the structure with a fly, because it will break the plastic rattle if you do that. Um, but they're good, they do have a good sound, so you you decide. You need shrink tube, and you need a, a millimetre bigger right, in diameter. This looks bigger because it's folded flat, but you need a millimetre bigger in diameter than the diameter of the rattle. And it's really cheap, right? I mean, a couple of metres will cost you next to nothing, you know. Um, I think I paid about 300 yen for 5 metres, which is a couple of dollars American, a couple of euros, something like that. With the glass rattles you need to allow a little bit more space, so a 3 millimetre plastic rattle, I'll, I'll use a 4 millimetre tube, but a Pyrex rattle I'll use a 5 mil because the Pyrex rattles are often kind of bulbous at the end and actually larger than the stated diameter. So, dead easy. Take your, take your uh, tube, I'm going to stick this on this one. I'm going to come in with my bodkin and make a wee hole. This just stops the barb uh, tearing or cutting the material. I've left maybe six or seven mil there in front, just enough to go in the shank, and then I'll come in, thread that through, and up. Just check my size, over there's fine. And I want to leave it slightly longer than the length of the rattle, and I always. I cut it after I've threaded it so I don't waste any. Now, dead easy. Put that in. If your tube's the right size, you don't need to moisten the rattler in. It'll just slide in. And then you can sort of squeeze it to get it in position. And I want a few millimetres, maybe five mil, behind the rattle. Right, I can squeeze that there. The rattle's between my two thumbs. And it's exactly the same process 
regardless of the hook size. It's a wee bit harder to thread it on the big hook. But it goes on just the same. And I like to put the rattle in. The, the jig rattles have got a wee mushroom on the end. I like to put that on the inside so that the sharp edge of the mushroom or the inside edge of the mushroom is to the back. And then same thing, just sort of squeeze it in. Allow yourself a few millimetres. Grab out your pliers and into your pot of boiling water. That's gripped. And now I can, I know it's not going to move around. Get it back in. Make sure it really shrinks. Set it flat. Ooh. Make sure it's straight, and there you go. Doesn't need to be perfect. As long as it's straight enough, you can adjust it later. Exactly the same. It's less likely to move because there's no other weight on the small one. So just go in. And there you go. And there you've got the, the rattles fitted. You can come in once it's dry. Always allow these to dry, right? Because there will be a wee bit of moisture. Uh, let it dry. I like to put a bit of glue, slide it up, and tie over it. Or you can, I mean, you can just tie over and secure it and it's fine. But I just like the, the extra security of the glue. But there you go. I've added rattles to the flies, quite simply. If you use the bright colour, the red, or the you can get fluorescent orange and fluorescent yellow and all that, you get a nice little hot spot in your fly as well, which is ideal if you're tying a bait fish with a translucent material. And it's easy, it's, it's super simple. So, I hope that was useful, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do this, put some rattles in your flies and go and catch some fish. Take lanes guys, bye.